<coughs> Good morning. Can we begin our Eucharist with number 196? Now thank we all our God. 196. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voice says, who wondrous things has done, in whom this world rejoices, who from our mother's arm has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. Oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us. Give to ever joyful heart and blessed peace to hear us. Preserve us in his grace and guide us when there is left and free us from all sin till heaven we and the lord has gathered us together to praise him in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all Amen. and as we gather uh, before the word of god this morning <clears throat> Let's reflect on the times that we uh, haven't been grateful, the times we just kind of presume all the good things that happen to life and blame for all the things that we don't get or don't want. And, and for the lack of gratitude in our hearts, for appreciating that everything is gift from God, we ask the Lord for the embrace of divine mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, that we may, re that we may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness bestows. And we ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit as our one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet like a man and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, in the vision of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth, with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left, it trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. The horn had eyes like a man and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, 
and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched then from the first of the arrogantly words which the, ho which the horn spoke until the beast was slain and its body thrown into the fire to be burned up. The other beasts which was lost their dominion were granted prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and people of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. <clears throat> Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Everything, everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You springs, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt <coughs> him above all forever. Glory and eternal praise to him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him forever, above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory and eternal praise to him. <clears throat> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen. I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The word of the, the gospel of the Lord. I well, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends and a lot of love and good stories. As we begin the end of the liturgical year of the church, which ends actually tomorrow, uh, we have these kind of apocalyptic readings and we have the book of Daniel. And I think we, a lot of us identify with it. We say, well, that's what's happening today. You see all these, I mean, it, it's a kind of Hebrew Semitic mythology, but you know, he sees animals and monsters and everything, you know, and it's almost like nightmares we've all had or nightmares we've experienced or things we imagine going to happen, you know. It's a kind of projection of that, but that's what God works. But he sees everything coming apart and being destroyed and like evil has won the war and, and everything coming apart. And yet suddenly in the middle of it, and it, it's like the, the lesson is don't panic. Well, we do panic because, you know, the world seems like it's coming apart. Our lives come apart. People hurt us. We get disappointed. Everybody seems to be angry in the world, you know. And, uh, and there, there's something to say, what's going wrong? What's wrong here? Like the monster inside us has been unleashed. 
and we seem to be ugly, mean, and you know, you, you got to be careful. I'm sure you watched it at Thanksgiving, what you could say at a table. <laughs> and somebody made a political comment, and let's have some more gravy. <laughs> And, and, and but I think it's funny. But then what, what Daniel, and he's wonderful because he's the prophet, he says, well, then I saw the Son of Man rising. You know, in other words, he's saying, look, a lot of things happen and things have a way of coming apart. And God doesn't cause it, but God doesn't, but God allows it. And God doesn't prevent us from anything, but God sustains us through everything. You know, he gets us through those crises and disappointments and hurt and darkness and threatening moments in life. And he says that I see myriads of angels you know, that he sees this, this incredible son of man, which was the title Jesus used for himself, son of man. And he said, just watch out, watch. And he sees things, them starting to come apart, you know, because evil has a way of just being self-destructive. And I think we have to make sure we are people of hope. And it talks about the cloud coming and dominion being his, and he's going to somehow really transform the kingdom. And Jesus is using that same parable with the fig tree. Look, you know, we saw winters, we've been through dark times. And he says, but when you see a bud opening, and that bud has to take the risk of opening. And he says, you know, it's getting to be summertime, and that the kingdom of God will happen. So I think we, it's a time to renew our faith that God is always present deep within us in every moment, every experience of our life. We've talked about it before, but Therese, in the darkest moment of her life, after 18 months of absolute emptiness and getting no consolation, feeling no connection with God or anything else. And uh, she, uh, because of her consumption, the last item she had, the, the connection she had was the priest would bring her communion three times a week. So she at least saw in that a sign of God reaching out to her. And then suddenly she spit it up because, you know, she was sick. And the priest said, no more communion for her. So the last thing was taken away from her. The last thing. And talk about despair and darkness, and she talks about that. But then she said, you know what? It's a grace to receive the sacrament because I know God's with me. But it's a grace also not to receive the sacrament because now my longing for you is even more. That's hope. Hope is I know there's more here. I know there's God here. And then she says, because everything is grace. We tend to think of grace as the good things that happen to us. When we're graced, we use that as a positive, don't we? Thank you, Lord. But the stuff that destroys us, that disappoints us, that hurts us, threatens us, we never think that God might be there too, in the middle trying to transform us or transform something about our world through us. So I think today we, as we begin this um, kind of end of this school, this uh, liturgical year of the church, we look for the second coming, that he is coming again. Although I think he's only gonna, he's gonna come in a long time away. I, Two weeks ago, I was going to the Holy Land, and I was with a minister from, with a heavy Texas accent. And we were, in a, we were trying to get through Israeli security, and we were talking, and then he said he had been on a mission. And he, and he said some things, and then we got into a little political stuff, and I, we changed that real quick. You Roman Catholics, you know. He had a mega hat on, and I said, well, I think we have values that are bigger than that. And then he says, well, don't you think it's a terrible world? Jesus is going to come right back and straighten it out? I looked at him and I said, no, I think he's going to say, look, you people messed it up. When you straighten it out, I'll come back and you'll know it's me. Oh, you Roman Catholics, you're not Christians, are you? That was the end of it. But that's what we believe, that if we straighten it out, we'll know it was him. But it's up to us to straighten it out, which means we have to have people of great hope that help us to transcend our own fears and selfishness and pettiness. Jesus promised that whenever we gather together in faith, Abba, our Father, would listen to us, and so let us pray. First of all, let us pray for peace in our world and wherever people suffer from the violence and injustice and historic misunderstanding of others. <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord. Let's gather together in our hearts and pray for those people who need the healing power of the Lord Jesus mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, or relationally. For them, let us pray to the Lord. I'd like to pray for all the members of the Little Flower Society and for all people who support the life and the ministries of the Carmelites here and throughout the world. Let, it, let us pray to the Lord. 
let us pray for ourselves that the Lord might deepen that sense of hope in his eternal presence and continued coming into our world. Let us pray to the Lord. And in silence, let us pray for our own private and personal intentions. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Gracious and faithful God, thank you for always listening to us. And we ask you to continue to manifest your presence in our life by responding to the needs that we place here before you and those that lie unspoken and even unknown in the silence of our hearts. And we ask you this through Christ, our ever-present Lord. Amen. As our gifts are brought to the altar, We take up a collection for the maintenance of the shrine. Let's also sing 576. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king. No more crying there, we are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the king. Alleluia, alleluia. We're going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. Alleluia, alleluia. We are going to see the king. And my sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the Holy One, our God. O Lord, accept the sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing uh, obedience to your commandments and work for your kingdom. And we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, for through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your, your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, full of your glory. <clears throat> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of your Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
For we remember and give thanks that on the night bef that we was betrayed, that Jesus himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in that same way, we remember and give thanks that before that supper was ended, that Jesus took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sin may be forgiven. and do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, <coughs> your work, cross and resurrection. <coughs> and therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. And look, we pray upon this offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your son may be filled with this Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, where Joseph, her, her beloved spouse, with your blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, Saint Therese of Lisieux, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for help. And Lord, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have gathered here before you this morning. And in your compassion, most merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed sisters and brothers and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For we join in the sacrifice of Jesus. Because we know, we believe, and we proclaim. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And as God has connected us in Christ, let's join with each other and pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Lord, deliver us from all evil and from all fear, from whatever prevents us from knowing you and from loving one another. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your peace so that we can live all of our days joyfully awaiting and experiencing the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are you. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church gathered here, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Hey, peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Can you get me another Eucharistic minister? Give me another one. My back. Get another Eucharistic minister. Yeah.
my back's back. Lamb of God. And this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who has taken away the sin, darkness, and division of our world. And blessed are we who are called to this banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
first. The body of Christ. Car the body of Christ. The body of Christ. And let us pray. Almighty Father, we pray that those whom you, to whom you give the joy of participating in these divine mysteries may never be parted or separated from you. And we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and all days of your life. This Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace. And we'll again sing 576. Soon and so very soon, 576. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon we are going to see the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. No more dying there. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king.